Dear Second Prep, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's Mr. Ahmed Mahmoud with you today to introduce a new mathematics lesson. Today, inshallah, we have Geometry Unit 5, Lesson 1. This is the first lesson in this unit, the last lesson with us, the last unit with us. The lesson is called Inequality. In this lesson, inshallah, we, we, we are going to know what the meaning of the word inequality and we are going to know the axioms of the inequality which we will we are going to use in the next in the rest of the unit let's start the lesson first we need to know the concept of the inequality okay if we have for example triangle like this and this triangle is called a b and c Okay, if we for if we write for example any measures for its sides like this, where BC equals five, AB equals eight, AC equals twelve centimeters. Okay, now if I need to compare between AC and BC, if AC equals twelve and AB equals eight, then we get that twelve is greater twelve is greater than eight. Then we say that AC greater than AB. This form is called inequality. Then what's the meaning of the inequality? The inequality is a mathematical relation included bigger than or smaller than. Okay, as the same as the equation is a mathematical statement included equal sign. Here we have greater than or smaller than. Okay, if we have another comparison between AB and BC. AB which is 8, BC which is 5. We see that AB greater than that 8 greater than 5. Okay, then we say that AB greater than BC. Now I arranged, okay, the sides of the triangle in descending order. AC greater than AB greater than BC or 12 greater than 8 greater than 5. Okay, now let's measures the angles of the triangle like this if this angle equals 30 and 40 and 110 as we see okay if i need to compare between the angles like this angle b and angle c angle b 110 angle c 40 then 110 is greater than 40 as we see and if i need to compare between angle c and angle a angle c here equals 40 and the angle a equal 30 it, it's clear that angle c is greater than angle a okay now i make a, a comparison between the three angles and I, I i have arranged the angles in descending order from bigger to smaller angle b greater than angle c greater than angle a this one is called also inequality because it's included bigger than sign as we see and this is the concept of the inequality now let's study the axioms of the inequality like this okay the axioms of the inequality or the, or the rules of the inequality for example if we have angle a of measure 50 as we see and angle b of measure 20 it's clear that angle a is a greater angle because 50 greater than 20 okay now what will happen if we add the same number to both sides like this if we add here 30 and here and here also we add 30 the answer here the the, the result here will be 80 and here the the resulted angle will be 50 of course 80 greater than 50 okay then it's still greater than again if we have angle A and angle B and we added the same number to both sides then still A plus the new number greater than B plus the new number briefly if we have angle A and angle B where A greater than B then if we added C to both sides still A plus C greater than B plus C okay another example or another axiom number two if we have angle a equal 80 like this and angle b 
equals 50 like this it's clear that angle a greater than angle b because 80 greater than 50 okay now the, the relation that a greater than b it's, it's very clear okay now what will happen if we subtract the same number from both sides okay like this if we subtract 30 from here and 30 from here still a equal 50 b equal 20 still a greater than b then if we have two angles and we subtract the same number from both then the relation okay the relation doesn't change briefly if we have a and b where a greater than b then if we subtract c from here and c from here then it's still a minus c greater than b minus c then again if we have a and b where a greater than b by adding c to both sides okay the inequality is still the same if we have a and b where a greater than b if we subtract c from both sides still a minus c greater than b minus c the next axiom now if we have angle a equal 50 and angle b equal 20 it's clear that a greater than b okay now what will happen if we multiplied a and b by the same number for example if i multiply a by 2 then 50 times 2 will be 100 like this and i multiply b by the same number 2 then it will be 40 like this it's clear that 100 still greater than 40 as we see again it's clear that uh, 100 still greater than 40 okay then if i multiply both sides by the same number the inequality is still the same briefly if a great greater than b as we see by multiplying a by c and b by c then it's still a times c greater than b times c okay the last one with us if angle a equal 100 and angle b equal 80 if i need to compare between them then a 100 greater than 80 okay if we have a third angle c like this where angle c equals 20 then b which is 80 greater than 20 now if i need to compare between a and c a greater than b and b greater than c that mean a is a very big and c is a very small that mean a is greater than c it's very very clear okay now if i need to compare between a and c like this then a greater than c again if a greater than b and b greater than c then a greater than c as we see briefly a greater than b and b greater than c then a greater than c and this is the axioms of the inequality okay now let's remember the exterior angle of the triangle because we are going to use this concept in, in our lesson now if we have triangle like this its angles a b and c their measures as we see 30 40 110 remember with me the meaning of the exterior angle for example if i extend bc outside the triangle like this then it forms an angle outside the triangle this angle is called exterior angle then the exterior angle is angle formed from the extension of side outside the triangle with another side as we see here okay now how can we do to find the measure of the exterior angle we do the follow we take a and c the non-adjacent interior angles like this c we are going to take a and plus c like this a plus c they are equal 70 
then the exterior angle equal the sum of two non-adjacent interior angles or B equal A plus the exterior of B equal A plus C. Okay. Now I need to compare between the exterior angle and the two non-adjacent interior angles. I see that 70 is greater than 40. 70 is greater than 40. And 70 is greater than 30. Then, then I can say that the measure of the exterior angle is greater than any interior angle except the, the adjacent. Again, the exterior angle 70 greater than 40 and the greater than 30. But it's not greater than the next, okay, or, or it's not always greater than the next angle. Then we can say that the exterior angle is greater than any interior angle except the adjacent Z. This is a very important rule. Let's start the problems. Here in this example, we have in the opposite figure, AB parallel to CD. Okay, AB parallel to CD. And AB, AD intersect BC at M. E belongs to CD. E doesn't belong to CD. E doesn't belong to C. D line segment or E is not inside CD's line segment. Okay, number one, I need to prove that measure ACD greater than measure ACB, ABC. ACD greater than or angle C, the whole angle of C greater than angle ABC. First, here we have angle A, angle B equal to angle. B, C, D. Okay. Why? Because there is alternate angles as we see. Okay. Okay. It's clear that angle C, the whole angle C, is greater than angle B because C formed from two angles, one of them equal to B. Then C is greater than B. How can we write this in the proof? Since AB parallel to CD, therefore, measure of angle uh, BCD, which is the lower part of C, equal to measure of angle B. Okay alternate angles okay now if I added angle ACB to this angle therefore measure of angle B C D okay plus measure of angle ACB is not equal to B, it's greater than B. Now, those two angles give me angle ACD. ACD is greater than measure of angle B. And this is the first required. The second required Prove that angle ADE, okay, angle ADE, this angle, greater than angle ABC, ABC, okay. Now, by looking to the triangle ACD, okay, it's not clear, I will highlight this one like this, triangle A, C, D, Okay, angle ADE is an exterior angle to this triangle. Okay, this exterior angle is greater than any interior angle. Then angle D is greater than C. Okay, as we see in the last rule. Okay, and 
angle C is greater than angle B, that mean angle D is greater than angle uh, D greater than angle B. Again, angle D, the exterior, greater than angle C. And angle C is greater than angle B, then angle D is greater than angle D. Okay. How can I say this one? Since angle ADE is an exterior angle to triangle ACD. Therefore, measure of angle ADC, uh, ADE is greater than measure of angle ACD. And this is, I will call this one, and this is two from one and two. Therefore, measure of angle ADE greater than measure of angle ABC. The next question with us. Example two here. We have D belongs to AB, D at the middle of AB, okay? AD equal to AC, okay? Measure of angle ACB equal to measure of angle B, okay? Now we need what? First, we need to prove Now we need to prove that measure of angle ACB, excuse me, angle ACB greater than angle B. It's very easy here. Because triangle ADC is isosceles triangle, then angle D is equal to angle C, as we see. Okay, now we have here in triangle DCB, as you see, I will highlight it to be clear. Triangle D, B, C, as we see. In this triangle, angle D is an exterior angle. Then angle D is greater than angle B. Again, angle D is greater than angle B. Okay, I will make one X here. Then angle D greater than angle B and angle D is equal to angle C then angle C equal a uh, greater than angle B again angle D and C are equal to each other and angle D is greater than angle B because D is exterior angle for the triangle then angle C is equal is greater than angle B okay now I'm going to write this one since A, D equal to A, C, therefore, measure of angle A, D, C equal to measure of angle A, C, D. Okay, and this is number one. Since angle A, D, C is an exterior angle for triangle BCD. Therefore, measure of angle ADB ADC greater than measure of angle B. This is number two. From one and two, the 
therefore measure of angle ACD is greater than measure of angle B and this is very easy one example 3 in this example we have here angle X equal to angle Y okay uh, AC greater than AB again AC greater than AB okay don't forget this one this is a given AC greater than AB Y belongs to AC and X belongs to AB measure of angle X equal to angle Y as we see prove that YC greater than XB okay now we have here since the two angles are equal therefore this triangle is an isosceles triangle okay now we have here ac okay included a y plus y c and a b included a x plus x b okay here ac is a greater side is a greater one i will make here two x and here this is a smaller side i will make here one x okay if we subtract a y from a c and a x from a b if we have a c greater than a b if we subtract the same number from both sides still a x uh, sorry y c greater than x b again since a c greater than a b and a y equal to a x we are going to subtract the same number from both sides a y and a x from both sides then y c will be greater than x b how can i say it in the proof in triangle a y x since a me measure of angle a x y equal to measure of angle a y x therefore a y equal to a x okay since a <coughs> c greater than a b therefore a c which is equal a y plus y c greater than a b which is equal a x plus x b i will cancel a x from here and a x uh, a y from here and a x from here because they are equal in measure therefore y c greater than x b the next example example four here complete each of the following writing greater than smaller than or equal <coughs> number one in the opposite figure here we have dc smaller than ba dc smaller than ba this one is small and this one is big then ac according to db okay here because ab is big and cd is small okay we add bc to both of them then ac is the greater one next one here we have ab greater than cd ab greater than cd this one is the big and this one is the small okay then ac and db by subtracting this one from both sides still 
this one is the big one then AC greater than BD number three in the opposite figure measure of angle ACX equal 35 and BCY equal 45 okay this is a straight angle then this one 180 minus 35 plus 45 equals 100 okay then angle X C B which is equal 135 and the angle ACY which is equal 145 this one of course is smaller number four here we have a B equal to a D that mean angle B equal to angle D don't forget this is isosceles triangle angle DCB less than angle CDB okay angle D C B uh, D B C D B C angle D is a smaller angle and the angle CDB is a greater angle I will make one X here and two X here then we get that angle D is big and the angle B is a small then angle A B C smaller than A D C because this one is a bigger angle and this is the end of the lesson I hope it was helpful for you see you in the next video inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Mr. Ahmed Mahmoud was with you.